day, the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory has recently partnered with GEVO on an initiative called GREET. And so they're going to, they, it'll take a few months for it to get put together and then for them to go ahead and publish it. So what happened to those GREET results? It's been more than a year now, and the last thing we heard about the GREET results from GEVO was in a fireside chat back in December of 21. This is what Pat said then. Argon Green, you know, they did they did go ahead and do the modeling. They did already submit it to the uh, their their the Beto Beto is the organization inside of the DOE which looks at this stuff. So that's the bosses of Argon, and they already submitted it. Look good, matches up with what we had, so that's good. This is Valerie Sariski Reed, the director of Beto. She published this article on the Department of Energy's website back in June of 2022. And even if the article doesn't mention Jivo by name, it seems quite obvious that Valerie is referring to Jivo's great results from the Argonne National Laboratory. And this part is the smoking gun. Further argon analysis on jet fuel applications concluded that smart farming practices and other existing technologies can reduce ethanol to jet fuel emissions to 153% lower than petroleum jet fuel. This means that biofuels could be not just net zero, but net negative carbon emissions. Because biomass removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere throughout its lifetime via photosynthesis, Net negative emissions biofuels are possible when measures are taken to lower the emissions from biofuel production. So there you have it. The Greek results provide scientific proof that GEVO's renewable jet fuel reduces CO2 emissions with astonishing 153%. And Bido are apparently so impressed with the results that they intend to ensure that GEVO's net zero concept becomes the industry standard. Bioenergy Technology Office is committed to ensuring that future domestic biofuel production adheres to rigorous sustainability metrics, including those for substantially reduced GHG emissions. Beto is currently examining strategies to lower GHG emissions and carbon intensity within the existing corn ethanol industry, including implementing low-carbon agricultural practices. Switching to renewable process heat and power, wind, solar, renewable natural gas, or biomass, developing new productivity and conversion efficiency measures in biorefinery processes, using or sequestering of biorefinery CO2 emissions. Sound familiar? To me, beta strategies sound like a copy-paste from Divas Investor's presentation. We believe that we can achieve a net zero footprint because we use the argon greet model to measure life cycle emissions. Now, greet is special because it takes into account the whole of the life cycle, all the way from capturing the CO2 through growing practices and land use and energy, product, energy use and production and the burning of fuels. We, ha we can get to a net zero or even negative carbon footprint for these fuels, and that's measured at the tailpipe of a jet engine, which is amazing. We could drive the CI score down further if we use carbon capture and geological sequestration techniques, or get this, simply by using no-till corn, it would drive the footprint to be minus 30 across the whole of the life cycle, even after the fuel is burned, if we had used renewable energy in production along the way. And after some fine tuning to my Google search, I found the actual great results. Remember these two guys? Michael Wang and Yu Sung Lee at Argon National Laboratory. Lee, who previously made this official statement where he referred to Jeeva's net zero approach as a game changer in the biofuel industry. It's crystal clear that this is their official research article where they have applied Argon's Greek model to Jeeva's net zero plant design. In this study, we analyze the GHG reduction of the plant design for Jeeva's net zero one plant on a life cycle basis. It's a really long article, so I'm going to save us some time and just go straight to the conclusion. In conclusion, this study addresses technologies that are feasible in the near term to produce net zero SAF through deep decarbonization in a commercial scale plant design. The GHG reduction strategies discussed achieve net zero CI for SAF by using renewable energy sources and CCS. 
The comparison of required resources and available resources reveals that it is feasible to produce 170 million liters of SAF and renewable gasoline per year with a CI score of minus 3.5. The results of this study show that additional large CI benefits can be obtained by sustainable and precision farming practices. And now, let's take a closer look at this figure. We could drive the CI score down further if we use carbon capture and geological sequestration techniques, or get this, simply by using no-till corn. It would drive the footprint to be minus 30 across the whole of the life cycle, even after the fuel is burned. You know, and there's lots of carbon accounting models used around the world. We need to use the best. That's the Argonne Greet model. It's the gold standard. It's the foundation for others. It has the most current scientific data. It's the most complete model. Now, since Argonne Greet is the foundational model for all the other models used around the world, We'd like to see it used in policy here in the U.S. We'd like to see improvements in the data for it, and USDA has a large role to play in making that happen down to the field level. Since the grid results are successful, it should rightfully be proclaimed as a game changer in the biofuel industry. So the question is, why haven't Jivo promoted this fantastic news? They haven't even put out a press release about it. Or are they just waiting for some additional confirmation from peer reviews? Regardless the reason behind the neglected PR opportunity, I mean, we all know Jeeva's communication has its flaws, but as a long-term investor, I'm perfectly satisfied to have the confirmation that it's now a scientific fact that Jeeva is able to produce SAF and biofuel with a negative carbon footprint, and I'm pretty sure that someday in the future, it will be known worldwide. So what do you think about the Greek results? And what is your opinion on Jeeva's communication? both towards the media as well as their shareholders. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you appreciate my videos, make sure to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. I make these videos just to inform and entertain, and you should not consider them as any kind of financial advice. I hope to release a new video soon, but until then, bye bye.